Veuillez introduire et applaudissez le grand, here he is anyway, <laughs> it's Marcel Lucan. Wow. It's like someone shitting in my ear. <laughs> so, here I am, Marcel Lucan, enjoying your little plastic glasses. Oui. <laughs> VIP. I've had enough of that plastic shit. I've been doing all of your festivals this summer, you know. I do do Glastonbury. Last two weeks ago, I think. Ah, oh, fuck. They say, come play our festival. Okay, give me the money. I will play it. <laughs> do you wish to do the camping? <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> Dirty little slum towns on the outskirts of the filth. No, I don't think so. I do a little thing called glamping. You know this, the portmanteau term, glamping. It means glad I did not go camping. I... <laughs> do the show and get out as soon as I can. Oh, we are back to civilization, back to entertainment again. Really? Okay, you seem to be foraging for food in shacks, sleeping in fabric-based accommodation and shitting into plastic boxes. Oh, <laughs> wonderful to be back. We escaped the COVID apocalypse for this. And at that festival, I was handed this as well. Look at that. Some fucking wine in a can. That's <laughs> what we have been reduced to now. This is my piece of poetry about that very thing. <laughs> wine in a can. Wine in a can. There are some things in life I just can't understand. Is society really so far down the pan that we're actually fine with some wine in a can? <laughs> wine in a can, wine in a can, as the vineyard grape completes its noble lifespan to be lovingly picked by a sure, steady hand, to be fucked in a tin, to be wine in a can. <laughs> Can you truly say your life has gone to plan as you swig like a pig drinking wine from a can? As our history books chart the fall of man, they'll read Nixon, then Johnson, then wine in a can. Fruit on a pizza, sandals with socks. I thought we did bottom with wine in a box. But to add to the list of a cultural ban, just above Nazi badges should be wine in a can. Sure, this is a free country, unlike Afghanistan. You can drive to a car park to make love in a van. But if that is your choosing, after afternoon cruising, while your partner is snoozing, and your thoughts turn to boozing, and you're musing upon it, wiping sperm from your bonnet, <laughs> voyeurs give you a handshake for avoiding the handbrake, when between them, they leave three pounds ten in your hand. Don't degrade yourself by buying wine <laughs> in a can. <laughs> 